Okay, the mutants in this movie, they have such amazing powers that when they combine them, they have the power to end a franchise. Let's review New Mutants. New Mutants stars uh, Macy Williams, Anya Taylor-Joy, Charlie Heaton, and is directed by Josh Boone. What is up, guys? Holy crap. It has been over five months since I went and saw The Hunt in theaters. Uh, tonight, I actually went to the theater, to my local AMC, and I finally saw New Mutants. And it was, it was kind of crazy. There was only like three, three or four couples in the entire theater. Uh, including myself and my wife. And uh, it was kind of strange. It was kind of surreal. It was weird being back at the theater. And it kind of sucked because the first movie that you see after five months, you want it to be something great. And this was the opposite of that. And uh, I guess the good thing is going into this, I had like no preconceived notions. I didn't really kind of delve into what the critical consensus was for New Mutants. Uh, I kind of just wanted to go in blind. It was quickly apparent the direction this movie was going in terms of quality. And uh, I think the major word you want to hear here is superficial. That's what this movie was. It was just completely superficial to me. Uh, but we're going to get into all the nuts and bolts of that. This will be a non-spoiler review. But Jesus, don't, don't freaking waste your, your money on this movie. Make it count. But first off, quick plot synopsis, our main character, Danielle, she is this teenager at the beginning of the movie, and there's this terrible tragedy that happens involving like a tornado, and she wakes up in this hospital. I guess that's what we'll call it, a hospital. And she meets all these other mutants in there. And there's this doctor, Dr. Reyes, who seems to be the only doctor in the entire building. Like, I, I couldn't find any other characters besides her and the mutants in this movie which was strange because if you have like a hospital type of facility there's gonna be a staff there some orderlies all this other stuff but i all i saw was dr ray's for most of the movie if not all the movie uh if you're not including the mutants and that's one of my many issues with the movie but it's more of a like a group of kids they they're in these like therapy sessions they're unsure of their powers and so dr reese her job is to pretty much help them to understand what their powers are and, and try to i guess just master them hone them but then as the story goes along uh we realize that there are some definite trust issues there do we trust the mutants do we trust uh dr reese because there's some like red herrings along the way too i mean one of the obvious ones was anya taylor joy's character Ilyana. She's so blatantly like in your face, the bad guy that you, you feel like she's probably not as bad as they're making her out to be. You know, the, it, like during the therapy session, she, she states that she killed all these people. Immediately, I was like, this is the character that I'm kind of interested in the most. And so I'd like to delve into her character a little bit more, maybe dig into her psyche and find out how she's dealing with all this. Because if you've done that much damage, then a couple things could happen one you could end up uh, having a lot of like emotional regret and just dealing with all these things in your head or you could go the other way and you could be just completely evil and without giving any spoilers they pretty much only scratch the surface that's my biggest issue with this movie i could go down the line of all these freaking mutants that they have in this movie and at the end of the day they're all pretty much completely forgettable the main character danielle She's the one that's the biggest question mark. She doesn't even know what her powers are. And so there's a lot of potential there. And you're like, oh, they, they could really unveil something major, something really big with this character in the end. And again, without spoiling anything, the last act where they all finally come together and they fight this quote unquote evil that, that I'm not going to tell you what it is. It was the dumbest, stupidest thing I've ever seen. And, and, and of course, I'm, I'm speaking in hyperbole a little bit. It's probably not the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but if not, it was a complete waste of a last act. If you have all these characters with these powers, you want there to be some kind of big payoff for them to have like this ultimate redemption at the end. And nope, not at all. Not at all. Just a big freaking like, who cares? That's, that's pretty much what I got. Also, this was marketed as kind of a horror movie, a horror X-Men movie. Um, they play around with the shadows and all that. They have some atmosphere in this thing, but the horror elements of this movie 
are completely a waste of time and more importantly they're just not interesting they're not scary at all like there's this like smiley faced man because the character Ilyana, one of her biggest fears is that she's trapped in like a, a Guillermo del Toro movie. That's pretty much what I summed it up to because th there's these creatures that are around her, but it looks like uh, they were rejects from a, a Guillermo del Toro movie. Like he, he had his list of creatures that he wanted for his movie and he, he was like, cut these out. These looks, put them in a stupid uh, X-Men horror movie. See how that works out. And it didn't work out at all. The horror element of this movie to me failed miserably. And I think that's the big problem with this movie is like, it's trying to grasp at a few different things, you know, like the, the horror thing, um, like the, the psychotic thriller type element, but it never fully lands on anything. It's just a shell of a movie, really. And it's sad that this is pretty much the last full-on X-Men movie in this entire run with the characters that we know and love. If you compare this to like other X-Men movies, it's probably one of the worst, if not the worst. I mean, in my opinion, it's the worst. It's definitely the worst. And you know how I felt about Dark Phoenix. That movie was a piece of crap. This is even worse than that. Now, Sam Guthrie, he plays Charlie. You might remember him from Stranger Things. He's a decent actor in this movie. He's trying to do this like heavily southern coal miner's son type deal. And he's probably one of the, the characters that has like the most powers, but they don't really explore it that much at all. His powers are pretty much wasted throughout this entire movie. He never really masters anything. And really, you could say that about all the, the mutants in this. They all never really reach like full redemption. Uh, you know, that this movie is so damn superficial, like all the way through that it, it offers some ideas uh, with all the characters, but it never fully grasps anything. There's never any payoff at all. And then there's this other element where they're trying to build this relationship between Maisie Williams character, Rain, and our main character, Danielle. You know, they're, they're, they're putting up a little bit of a love interest type thing there. And that's just one of so many pointless elements throughout this that never are fully explored. Like nothing in this movie is like fully explored. I mean, hell, I can go right back to the therapy sessions. You know, there's a scene at the beginning of the movie where they're all just sitting around uh, in a room. There's no great dialogue. The script is so damn weak throughout this entire movie. And especially in those therapy sessions, this is the opportunity to give, give your audience an idea of who these characters are the struggles that they've went through because these are some pretty messed up kids. So there's a lot of emotional dirt to play in, but they never do it. You know, they, they pretty much just try to set the table up as quickly as possible. And then I don't even know. I don't even know what they want to do because I wanted to say and then get to the action, but there's very little of that at all. So the whole movie is just a mess. That's what it is. And so I can completely see the people behind the making of this movie sitting around a table coming up with ideas and, and, and saying, oh, this movie, I think it's ready. I think we should go ahead and put this out now. And then they're like, nope, let's, let's pull it back. And, and I guarantee you that's probably what happened all the way up to this COVID thing. They were finally ready to push it out, but COVID stopped it. And uh, you know they could have like honed it a little bit more and said, you know what, we got a really weak story here. Let's go back and kind of. But then they would have had to do reshoots and all that stuff. So this movie's a throwaway. That's pretty much what it is for Fox. Disney doesn't care about it anymore. That's what it is. It's completely forgettable. And I've said enough about it. And 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 by the way, that ending. If I didn't stress it enough, the ending is so god awful stupid. And I'll just say there's a lot of CGI in there, okay? And it's really dumb. It's just really dumb. And I, I, I just can imagine the guy, the writer who pitched that ending, you know, what these uh, kids were going to be fighting. And I can't imagine the rest of the, the people around the table not gut laughing because that's what I was doing in the theater. I was like, is this what they're doing? Really? This, this is stupid. So guys, um, in the end, uh, th there's some decent acting in this. These, these young actors did the best they could with the part, but there's just not much there. Uh, past the surface. So I'm giving this a freaking low, low um, two hours lost. And I came damn close to giving it a looped in hell. And it probably deserves that. But I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a two hours lost. Because it's just painfully boring too. 
just painfully boring. So anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on New Mutants? This might be the lowest rated review that you've seen of the movie. Because I, I, I saw a couple thumbnails out there where people looked like they were happy with it. But not this guy. You're not going to see that on my thumbnail. Anyway, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do Free Fall Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and Drum Dum out.